Right? Yeah. Still at it. What? Well, the cows. Give us a hand if you like. Uh -huh. We've got to be somewhere. Is that dad's up yet? No, I ain't seen him, why? I was wondering. Place is like a morgue without Debbie around. Yeah. She'll be back. What are you doing today? Nothing in particular. Right, well, you are now. I suggest you get your coat on. We're going into Leeds, cos I need a going-away outfit. You don't need my help for that. Tom, I messed up yesterday big time. I know that. So, today, I'm all yours. To do with as you may. Hm? I'm supposed to feel privileged, am I? <sighs> Tom, please, I hate it when we fall out. So do I. Today, I am not going to let you out of my sight. Right, come on. Let's see if we can find you something cheap in the sales. I hope that was a joke. What are you looking at? Remarkably little. You what? We must stop meeting like this. It's a temporary arrangement. Here's your advance. When do we get the serious money? When you've done something serious to earn it. You don't trust me, do you? If you were trustworthy, you'd be no use to me. Now, when the deed is done, I want you to disappear for a while. With what? I'm paying you five grand. That's accounted for, you know that. <sighs> OK, I'll cover those expenses as well. Right, well, maybe I'll take a trip to Graceland. Right, well, you can worry about where you're going to go once you've given the private investigator the evidence he's looking for. Good. Two, go on, count them. One, two. Why do they grow up so quick? Ah, so it'll be Bell causing his grief. Mm. Not while I'm a dad, it won't. Debbie seems a lot happier. Mm. Debbie, love, come and give us a hand with the carrots. No. Right little ray of sunshine, in fact. Oh, <laughs> oh she'll come round. There's a lot of meat you're butchering there. I'm doing stew and dumplings. <laughs> Thought we need you cheering up. Get more than dumplings. Oh, stop fretting, love. She'll get over and in a couple of weeks, you'll see. She better do. I can't help thinking I've let him off too lightly. You have been behaving in a very restrained and mature manner. Don't I always? Ah, I've uh, got a couple of lads clearing the drive and then the place is pretty much ready. Great. Apart from any uh, last minute disasters. Joseph! Oh, it was her idea. Well, you know me, Lisa. Never say no to free grub. All right. I'll see you there in a bit. Bye. Thought I told you to put them chips on. Yeah, when I've seen this. Well, don't bother. I mean, at my dad's name. And what's up with you? Nothing. He's been in a right mood all day. Can't you just shut up? I've been up since five this morning working, unlike you two. I tell you what, why don't you come with us? On the dingoes? Yeah, why not? We haven't been invited. Well, I'm inviting you. There's always loads to go around when Lisa does one of her stews. Well, is Debbie going to be there? Yeah. And you can keep your eyes and your hands off. I'm sick of telling you. I know. All right, so what do you say? You in? No, thanks. What's the matter? My family not good enough for you? No. All right, well, that's settled then. What did we say about you not being naughty? Sorry. You go to your room. No, on second thoughts, I don't want to let you out of my sight. We need a professional. 
Well, <laughs> you're not going to find a furniture restorer at such short notice. I'm not, no, you are. Well, <laughs> why don't you just put a tablecloth on it? You know, no one will know. I will know, and I want this repaired before my guests arrive. I don't care what it takes. Yes, my lady. Hey, look who's here. Hi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, you're a bit early, love. Oh, uh, we're washing the chickens. Oh, do they need washing? That's what I said. <laughs> Only the best for my girls. <laughs> um, can I help you with anything? Um, well, you can lay the table. Um, how many places? Well, there's us lot, and then you and Kane. My dad? Yeah, that's right. Have you invited my dad after all you've said? Why, what have you said? Uh, nothing. Um, why don't you and uh, Alice go and... See to the chickens and, and, and Debbie and Bella will lay the table. <laughs> right. Mm. Oi! Oi! I thought you'd be glad to see your dad. Surprised I'm allowed to. <sighs> Look, when he comes here, you have a smile on your face and act like everything's hunky dory, understood? All oh, right. Any other miracles you'd like me to perform? We're only being hard on you because we love you. I mean, look at your mum. Pregnant at 13, on the streets at 15. Is it any wonder we're protective of you? Mm. She may have the shelf. Oh, yeah, good as gold, isn't that right, love? Yeah. <gasps> How much did that lot cost? <laughs> now, <laughs> and if Denzel comes calling, now, I was here all morning, right? Oh, Charity. You shouldn't have uh, hands off you. Give us a look, then. It's for Tom. Is it? Well, you know when I went to buy those shoes? I didn't. I got that for you instead. <laughs> oh. I don't know what to say. I haven't seen it yet. A uh, pint of beer and a uh, G&T, thanks, whenever it takes your fancy. Uh, be right with you, mate. No worry. So, what do you think? I hope you like them, cos they cost you a fortune. <laughs> uh, am I not a bit old for some of this trendy? Oh, will you stop banging on about your age? You're 65. All right, that's barely middle age these days. And besides, from now on, you've got me to make sure you stay young. Thanks, look. <laughs> Do you know that bloke? I've never seen him before in my life, no. He was looking you over. Was he? Yeah. We've got guests coming tomorrow. And what are they going to make of your handiwork, hmm? I don't know. Right, there's a man coming at five. Oh, how did you manage that? I offered him £400. How much? Well, whatever it takes, you said. Yeah, right. Thank you. Would you like a glass of wine? Uh, no, not at lunchtime. Eee, I've done as proud as usual, Lisa. No, no, we're not starting till Kane gets there. Yeah. What are we feeding him for? Because he's family. She is. Alice is my guest. And a lovely little guest you are, too. When you get bored with chicken brain, I'll be more than happy to entertain. Yay! <laughs> eh? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you carry on. You clobber him, love. <laughs> hey, Dick. At last, we're all starving to death here. Hey? hey, come on, don't be shy. Flipping it. What are we doing? Feeding the 5,000? Hiya. Hiya. Did you know about that? No, of course I didn't. Uh, I'm sorry, lads, there's not enough to go round. Right. Of course there is. It's Daz and Andy. Or do just feed them at Christmas? Oh, we don't mind. Yeah, well, I do. There's a couple of chairs <laughs> in my dad's room. Go and get them, Daz. Go on. All right. What's happened to your face? Alice sitting. All right, good for Alice. <laughs> so we eating a what? Right. Lovely, Lisa. Yeah, top grub. Oh, yeah. You left some Andy's. Yeah, I know. I could have flogged it, but I didn't. Because I'm your dad, and I'm always looking out for you wherever you might live, all right? 
She should be living with you. It's like sardines in it. Well, it's her decision, not mine. It's nice. Yeah, it's new. How new? My mum got it me. Oh, yeah, she would. More money than sense. You eating that? No. You sit here, then. Uh, grub not good enough for you? No. What was that? I, s I meant yes. Sorry, uh, thanks. What's going on? Mount. And why is he having a go at Andy? You're imagining things, Rob. <laughs> Just ignore him. You're allowed to enjoy yourself, all right? No, he isn't. OK, and why don't you go and fetch some beers? Sam will go. She asked you. OK. No, whatever your problem is, don't take out on me. Hey, those stouts in the barn are my personal supply. Finest keepers. Get. Right. On your feet, lad. Oh, hey, finally. Oh, start. Marlon's taking Donna ice skating, so I've had to make them myself. Oh, great. Thanks for warning. Oh. I'm gonna go and have a word. Oh, leave him. He's just having a quiet drink, Tom. No, he's not. He's eyeing you up. <clears throat> yeah, well, men do that. <laughs> hey, this is something you're going to have to get used to, darling. You've got some bottle coming here! Kid insisting! Don't lay a finger on him! I'll lay a finger on you in a minute! You better not! You won't! Just leave him! Zach, please! This is hardly putting a lid on it, is it? A, a lid on what? <sighs> Nothing, love. It's just a misunderstanding. Now, calm down. What was our guest be thinking? We've got pudding to go through yet. It's not normally like this. Good. <laughs> not, not always. You don't even like stuff. Yeah, well, I'm acquiring taste. You know, you're nothing but trouble, you. Yeah, I like trouble. Do you want me to remind you, eh? What now? Fine. No, Andy tried to nip one of Zach's dumplings. What'd you do that for? You got a death wish or something? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I must have a... Have a beer, sit down and behave yourself. Come on. No, but I haven't got to hand it to her. She always seems to land on her feet. Mm, not always a feet. I think it's good she's found happiness. Mm, cos some girls, well, they have to put up with some bloke with millions in the bank. Well, she's not marrying Tom just for his money. Well, so what if she is? Good luck to her. I mean, she deserves to land on her feet the life she's had. Tom's a good man. He goes to church. Might help her find God. In my experience, it ain't God that keeps you warm at night. Mind you, he might know different. Just keep me out of this, please. Well, you've got away with fallen women, haven't you? Meaning? She's winding you up, mate. She winds everyone up. Well, if I wanted advice about my love life, which, frankly, I don't... You would be the last person I would come to. I think I've touched the nerve. When do you know? Alice, Sam says you might be moving to Norfolk. Um, well, um, nothing's been decided yet. Well, you, you're thinking about it, though, aren't you? Seems a long way away. His last girlfriend fled to Japan. She ain't my girlfriend, are you? No. Right, I've had enough of this. I want to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Why are you two staring each other out, eh? Well, I don't know what you mean. You think I'm stupid? And what about her, eh? Tell me. We love each other. You and me dad? Me and Debbie. Andy! What? You stupid idiot. He's got a right to know. We're in love. Is this true? Did be that it like that bitch. You can see it all over the place. Get off me! Look, it's all dead! No, it's not! Get out! Get out! No, we can't be for long. No, you don't, young lady. Uh, Come on! Messing with Debbie! I know! Get off! We know what messes with Debbie! Come here! 
Ken, I don't want to fight with you. Don't! Let us stop him! Let his brothers on him, show! Come on! Get it right! Get off me! John Afters? I know you're all right. We'll have that at home. All right, Lisa. What's the matter? Right, I'm on my way. Babe, I'm going to have to go. What's happened? I don't know yet. You're not running out on me again. I need the car keys. Sorry, darling. She keeps you on your toes, doesn't she? That's enough! They haven't even started! Do you want to spend New Year in the next? Yes, as good a place as any. Get in the van! Smart thinking. I'll keep the change then, shall I? Hi, Dad. What's wrong? Everything. Where's Charity? Now, you tell me. She comes and goes as she pleases. Am I making a fool of myself? Of course not. Oh, come on, be honest. What do you think? Is she taking me for a ride? It's what you think that really matters. I'm asking you a question. Let me buy you a drink. I've had a drink. Look, it's for you and all. Come on, come on. No! I said, get away from him now. What's she doing here? Get him out of here. Open this door! How the hell did he find out? Did you know about this? Face it, lad, everybody knew about it. I'm going to waste you, Charity. All right, in what way is this my fault? Because she's got a tart for her mother. And who are you, Cliff Piggin Richard? This isn't helping, Charity. Well, I think you better get lost. Come on, back, Debbie. We'll look after her. She's my kid, Lisa. I'm not coming with you. Well, I'm not leaving without you. Charity! Right, fine. See what happens when you open your big mouth. We need help. Well, he can whistle. I'm all right, Daz. Let me jump up. Daz, I thought that's going to help. Thanks. I'll look after you. Where's my car? Oh, is that all you care about? I'm, I'm talking to you. Hello? Why haven't you contacted me? Oh, Mrs King, I. So, what have you found out? Well, she's just gone into her house with uh, an older gentleman. I'm assuming that's a fiancé. They spent the whole day together. Is that all? Well, she had some kind of dispute with a neighbour. Other than that, there's nothing to report. <sighs> well, let me know when there is. But to be honest, she and your father-in-law strike me as a very normal couple. Uh, I don't pay you for conjecture. Just get me facts and photographic proof. I think I should uh, go home. Dawn, then. I feel like I'm intruding. Open this door! I'm afraid we can't do that! It's for your own good! Why didn't you tell me what was going on? Maybe we thought you'd get violent. Look, Kane! The whole thing has been put to bed now. Debbie knows she's done wrong. She's gonna know she's done wrong when I get hold of her. Yeah, all you ever do is hit me. Well, you need it in! He don't mean it. I do! He's hit me before. When? Well, I told you that he didn't. You believe anything you do. How can you hit your own kid? Because that is what she needs. You're not my dad. You're a thug. I hate you. Not as much as I hate you, you little slapper. Now open this door! I thought those two had scarpered. Who? I want an explanation. And now! I don't know what to do, Tom. I mean, you're right, I know. It's you that matters now, but Debbie's my door. I mean, what do you expect me to do? Abandon her to Kane's tender loving care? She slept with a boy. I mean, so what? I never thought it would be this big a problem. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. It's OK. It's not OK, though, is it? Kane is going to break her in two, giving half the chance. He is going to destroy every little bit of hope and love until she's as bitter and damaged as he is. And then there's me just standing by watching it happen. I'm sorry. Oh, 
She's meant to be the happiest time of my life, Tom. It will be. Don't worry. <laughs> you all right? She's so better than you were. You've got five seconds to get off my land. Open this door now! You can get him done for assault. Like to see him try. This isn't right. Lisa, get Belle and Debbie inside. No. Just do it! Sam, Shadrach, go with them. Now, for the last time, get out of my sight! And you, calm yourself down! You can't keep me in here. I can't, so you start behaving. Have you got a death wish or summer? <laughs> Open this door! We're going. Heaven help you when we let him out of there. Come on. <laughs>